Just a few miles from the Hollywood Hills lies a short track that is home to one of January's greatest racing spectacles. The Toyota Speedway at Irwindale in sunny California is home of the 6th Annual NASCAR Toyota All-Star Showdown. And tonight, it will light up for some of NASCAR's brightest young stars as they try and settle just who is the best of the best. The field is set. 40 drivers from all over the country will collide for 250 laps of non-stop, heart-pumping, stock car excitement. Sit down and buckle in. It's going to be a wild ride. The Toyota All-Star Showdown is next. Speed TV welcomes you to America's greatest weekly racetrack as the Toyota Speedway at Irwindale plays host to the sixth annual NASCAR Toyota All-Star Showdown headlined by the NASCAR Camping World Series. Tonight, three big races, 139 stock cars on the half mile oval. You do the math. This super late model race you'll see later tonight will start all 52 entries 47 in the late model race and first the camping world stars both east and west will go at it for 250 laps hi everybody mike joy with phil parsons for the sixth annual running of what's become a great nascar tradition for its weekly and touring developmental series racers mike it's incredible the, the talent that's assembled here for this race both from east and west we've got four different countries represented in the 56 cars that attempted to qualify for the 40 spots we had an australian here we've got our champion from canada we've got our champion from mexico as well as the very best that the east and the west has to offer you look at that camping world garage area and you see joe gibbs racing dale earnhardt incorporated and a lot of fellows who have taken their weekly program and elevated it to touring status there are a bunch of davids against the goliaths here and it's fun to watch them battle and throw in a three-time truck series champion ron hornaday as well <laughs> going to be quite a show as the drivers are being introduced to the crowd here outside los angeles the Camping World Series made up of two divisions, East and West. The red states are where the West Series competes. The East in the blue states, Iowa, has that great combination race in May of each year. Now, in addition, the champions of NASCAR's Modified, Wheeland Southern Modified Tour, Canadian Tire Series, and Mexican Series are also invited as guaranteed starters in the Wheeland All-American Series Weekly Champion as well so it's a great melting pot of short track racing that caps the 2008 season and leads us into 2009 only one division got to qualify that was the camping world series and chris johnson in only his third Irwindale appearance he ran two races here this year in the series was the fastest after the field was mostly set by time trials they had this 50 lap last chance feature event and a few fellas like Terry Henry went spinning. Henry off the bumper of Matt Crafton, several spins in this one. But the big boo-boo was the one that happened on the last lap. Yeah, Joe Polowasik was running second, battling for the lead on the very last lap, ends up trying to keep off Andrew Myers, a 77 car, spins himself out and loses a spot in this field. So Myers ends up winning going away, beating Jimmy Johnson's brother, Jarrett, and the other four drivers who transferred into the main event. Let's meet the pole sitter for this 250 lap showdown. Here's Dick Bergren. Chris Johnson has won the pole for tonight's big race. It's only his third ever start in the West Series. How surprised are you at this? Oh man, it's uh, it's a great thrill for us and the team. You know, uh, like you said, third start. So. Uh, couldn't have expected a better qualifying position than this. Um, you know, uh, uh, we got a stellar team, and they, they really make me look good, so we're pretty stoked. What's your strategy to win the race tonight? You know, um, it's going to be a 100 lap, 100 lap, and then 50 lap dash, so uh, survival, absolutely survival. You know, used to run in short tracks. Uh, it's just a 50 lap race at the end, so as long as we keep our nose clean and uh, try and stay in the top 10, I think we'll be okay. 
Good luck to you. And the highest qualifying East driver is Brian Eichler, who starts third tonight. He's a California native that moved his entire operation to the East Coast to run the East Series. Now, Brian, you've had experience here. How big would it be to win in your home state? You know, it's be great. This is a beautiful facility. We, everybody's worked so hard all year, uh, especially moving everything back to the East Coast. And uh, it'd be really nice to put that uh, trophy in the back of the hauler and tow it all the way back to 2,000 miles to Mooresville. They're like nothing better than take that trophy 34 hours across the bottom back to North Carolina. Thanks, fellas. Jason Bowles, the runner-up in Camping World West last year, shares the front row with Chris Johnson. There's Eichler. Eric Holmes, the West champion. As you look back through the top ten, there's Joey Logano, last year's winner of this race. You see Nick Lynch in seventh. He's a brother of Scott Lynch, a former West Series champion. Positions 11 through 20. There's Ron Hornaday. It's starting lucky 13th. Mike David, past champion of the West. There's Austin Dillon. Back in 19th, he won last year in the East Series at Greenville. Richard Childress's grandson. Peyton Sellers, 21st. Matt Kobaluk, past winner and the defending Camping World East champion. Back in 25th, Scott Steckley. He's a Canadian Tire NASCAR Series champion. And a look back through the 34th spot, filled through provisionals, and then the six drivers who transferred from the last chance qualifying race. Yeah, Matt Crafton will start the last row here. Matt got his first truck series win last year at Lowe's Motor Speedway. 40 drivers, 250 laps. They'll run 100 laps and take a break. Run 100 laps and take another halftime break, and then 50 laps to finish it off. Then you'll see the Whelan All-American Late Model Series, 47 cars, 75 laps, and to cap it all off, 52 cars will start the super late model feature. The folks here said we're going to start them all. They didn't get a chance to qualify. A lot of these guys travel from a long distance. They're going to start them all. Nobody goes home. We're going to settle this on the racetrack, short track style.